Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate a frequency table or a cross table of a question that has multiple answers using in this case the custom tables option. If you have a question with multiple answers each of the possible options often gets coded as a separate variable. So for example I ask people which cinemas they visited and they could choose from the Munt, the Movies, Tushinsky and Arena. So each of these has become a variable in itself. With the possible values for each of them, 0 not visited and 1 visited. This will become important later on. To generate, to let SPSS actually know that these questions were one multiple response set, click on Analyze, Custom Tables, or Tables depending on the version of SPSS you're using, and click on Multiple Response Sets. Select the variables that formed the set and move it to variables in set. Make sure dichotomies is selected and at counted value enter the value that you're interested in. Now I'm interested in those who did visit which was coded as 1 so I'll be entering here a 1. If you forgot this right click on any of these variables go for variable information and you can quickly see how it was coded. So you don't have to go back all the way to your data file and then the variable view. Enter a name for this set, in this case uh, visited might be nice. Uh, for, as for any variable, uh, it cannot start with a number and no spaces in it. For the label you can use uh, spaces and start with a number. So visited cinemas might be a nice option here. Click on add and click on OK. Now go for analyze custom tables, custom tables and all the way at the bottom of the variable list there is now the multiple response set. So you can select this and drag it to the rows. You can now already click on OK. Um, I'll actually go a little bit further and make this a uh, cross table. So I'm going to cross this for example with gender and I'll put that into the columns. As it stands now it will only show the count so I might also want to see uh, the percentages. So what I can do is I click on visited cinemas, the multiple response set, click on summary statistics. In version 24 or newer you will see that in the statistics section uh, there will actually be uh, subdivision so you then have to click on the column percentages. Uh, this is version 23, uh, everything is now here in one long list. I like to see often the, uh, the column valid percentages so I move that to the display section I click on apply to selection uh, because this is 23 it will then immediately also disappear in version 24 you have to click on apply to selection and then on close so I'm clicking on apply to selection and I can see that the percentages will now be added you might also want to see uh, the totals uh, so I'll click again on the visited cinemas click on categories and totals and I tick the total option. Click on apply and you can see I now have a total also in these rows. I might also want to have a column with the total so I'll click on the column variable, click on categories and totals again, tick the total option, click on apply and click on OK. And now I have a nice uh, fr frequency or actually cross table of a multiple response set and as you can see these percentages in itself actually do not add up to 100% and that is because uh, people were allowed to have multiple answers so it's actually 53.2% of the females that actually visited the moon and it's 39.7% uh, of the males that visited Tushinsky. 